Well, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel, whichever it is. Today we're headed out towards uh, Mei Wang. I'm going to try to find a waterfall out here. I saw it on Facebook, or saw it on Google yesterday, and I thought, well, let's take a good trip and get out of the house for a while. It's about probably about 45, 50 kilometers from where, where the house is. And it's kind of a nice ride. I've been out here once, but never been to the waterfall, so we're going to try to find it. Got to stop and have something to eat. Mm -hmm then head on out. But uh, anyway, this is where we're going to eat. We're going to have some pork. Some grilled pork. And I don't know what else to put with it, but whatever it is, I'll eat it. You see the rice fields right behind me. But anyway, it should be a fun trip, and hope you enjoy it. We'll uh, do some more video when we get out there. That looks delicious. Well, we made it to Mei Wang Waterfall. Uh, it's been a heck of a trip. If you follow Google Maps, you're gonna you're gonna end up in a crazy location. I, I ended up on a dirt road going towards a uh, elephant sanctuary and went past the sanctuary down a dirt road and finally some guy came out. And I was waiting for him to pull out his banjo and start playing it but anyway Google will take you about a mile from where, where you actually need to be and, and in the description uh, I'll tell you how to get here the, the correct way so you won't get lost but uh, the way Google Map takes you, it takes you up a, a, a dirt road and gravel road and winds you around and just gets you not even close to, to where you need to be and then you've got to walk about another mile to get here but uh, luckily um, the guy playing the banjo gave me the right directions and you come to a temple you pass the temple and then you continue on the road and then you end up here which is basically where the, the waterfall is I haven't walked down to it yet but I can hear it so I know I'm close and just trying to get all the gear ready and and start walking down there it's a uh, doesn't look like anybody's been here in a long time, so there's no telling what it'll look like down there. But we're going to walk down and, and see what it's like and just uh, check the situation out. This is kind of what it looks like around here. We're right out in the middle of the jungle. Mosquitoes are thicker than flies, but uh, that's part of it. You can see the dirt road we drove up on. And I was kind of glad it wasn't muddy. This would be awful slippery. But we are out in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, let's head on down to the to the waterfall and see what it is. No littering. Well anyway, the trail takes us down this way, so we'll head down this way. Slippery slope. And this might be fun. May Wang Waterfall. And this looks like the route down. Hopefully, it steps. We will see. Can't be any worse than what we went through the other day. Yeah, this looks like nice stairs. If you can get this far, you can make it down to the falls. But I wouldn't recommend coming here on anything other than a decent motorbike. You couldn't get a car back in here. Man, look at the bamboo jungle. We'll be doing okay as long as we don't run up on a snake because I don't know where I'm going to run to. But I'll definitely run somewhere. You can hear we're pretty close. 
Okay. Whew. Let's go back down further. Wow, look at that tree. I'm going to turn this thing around so you can see the tree in front of us. somehow. Whew. I can't believe my big butt fit through that. But it did.
Well, we made it down, and this is what we see, so, you know, y'all can see it too. You see, make a determination whether it's worth the aggravation to come down here. It really wasn't that bad. Uh, once you figure out the Google map, it doesn't know what they're talking about, and you get off that road and you get back out on the main road. There's a temple that I'll put, I'll put in the uh, description below, the temple that you need to, to uh, patch into Google to get you here, you know, in, in the, the right way. If the water wasn't so uh, dirty right now and, and going so fast, I'd probably go swimming because there's nobody here. Uh, there doesn't look like there's anybody at the coffee shop and across the street at, at all. So you pretty much have the place to yourself. And I'm finding a lot of the places that I'm going to now are just like that. There's nobody there. You're alone. Uh, and just this is really, really nice. It's, it's quiet. Other than you just all you hear is the water and maybe a few birds chirping every now and then. But... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to take some more video on the way out. And there's a, there were a couple of really cool villages that I passed through. If I've got time, I'm going to stop there and, and shoot some video there. There were some old houses that you just don't see inside the city and you don't see unless you really get out in the country where this is. Uh, like I said, we're probably, probably 50 miles or 50 kilometers outside of Chiang Mai. Uh, maybe a little bit more in uh, uh, May Wind District. But anyway, like I said, I'll leave a description down there so you won't have any problem finding it if you want to come out here and see it. Right now, I'm going to sign off and I'm going to sit here for a while and then I'm going to make my way up. See y'all later. Going down is always a lot easier than going up. Sometimes we forget it when we, we come down and we go places we shouldn't go, but this really isn't too bad. When you've got a railing in solid ground to stand on, let me go past this a little bit to see what I can see from up here. Ooh. A really good view up here. You really can't see anything. Other than the coffee shop. Right there. Around this way a little bit more. Oh. Yeah, there's a little place over here we'll go check out. And I just don't want to run up on a snake. They've not cut the cut zoo vines down, so you really can't see a whole lot. You can kind of see there. The vines. This must be the coffee shop that they were showing on Google Maps. So I venture to say that other road that I was on, if I'd have stayed on it, I might have got here. But it was really, really rutted out pretty bad. Well, we'll start making our way out of here. Oh, I saw that right there and I thought, oh no, not a snake. But it's not. No smoking. Alright, we'll start work making our way back down. And back up. Let's see, yeah, see there you can get a real good you can see the falls real well.
head back out of here. It's a nice walk back here. It's a nice and shady. Uh, like I said, everywhere you go walk, you, you know, you really need to watch your feet. Because if you run up on a snake, he's going to be down by your feet. If you're looking up, you're not going to see him. So I pretty much keep my eyes down on the ground. Now in this case, we're going to start going up. So let's see how that works out. But not bad. If I can get up here without busting my butt. But this is the fun thing about living in Thailand. There's so many new places to explore, places to see. And uh, I'm going to rest for a minute here and talk to y'all. But, uh, you know, I'm not one to sit on the couch and drink beer and smoke cigarettes and watch TV all day. I've got to be out doing something. And if I'm not, I'm just stagnating. So getting out every day, or at least every other day, is really a good thing. And, you know, like I said, it's, it's new to... Even though I've lived here 10 years, it's still new to me. Uh, you know, it's not like being back in the States where, you know, you've seen everything a million times. And it's probably, for y'all to see this, is probably even more uh, interesting because some of y'all have never been here. And uh, us that live here, sometimes we take it for granted because we see it all the time. Anyway, I'm going to shut this off because I'm going to have to crawl into that tree in a minute. Whew. It's beautiful. Now let's try to get into this thing without wrecking the camera on my butt. I don't mind getting dirty. There we go. little mud on the knees and now we start going up Whew. not bad Well, as y'all can see, I'm sweating pretty good. Uh, I guess this place, on if you're an explorer and you want to find places that uh, are kind of off the beaten path, you know, that uh, kind of desolate, that a lot of people don't see, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this place probably about a 9. Uh, if you're somebody who wants a leisurely walk out in the you know to see the waterfalls there's plenty of those up in Chiang Mai I don't think you need to come down here um, it's just it, it you know it's a job getting down and a job getting back up plus it's like I said it's hell finding this place by Google Maps anyway I think if I'd have done it a different way it would have been better but anyway uh, I hope you enjoy the video I, I love doing these things God, it gets me out of the house and you know gets uh get fresh air get some exercise so it's kind of a kills two, two or three birds with one stone. Keeps me healthy and I'm hoping it'll keep me thin, but it doesn't look like it's working out too well. But anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. If you do subscribe to the channel, click like, ring the bell. It helps the channel out to get, get to more people and more exposure. And, and I like people to, to see this. You're more than welcome to share any of my videos. Uh, anything, anything, I, I don't care. You wanna post them on your website, doesn't matter to me. I'm not particular and, and I'm not selfish, so. Thailand kind of belongs to the Thai people and they're letting us here so you know let's enjoy it and let, let other people enjoy it as well. Anyway y'all have a good day. I'm going to try to do some more filming before I, I go out. If I do I'll include it in this video. Uh, if not well it's another trip out here. Anyway y'all have a good day. We'll see you later. Bye. This is the village <clears throat> right before you go down, get to the road where the waterfall is.
And the last time I was here, just over to the left, they had elephants. And uh, they had quite a few of them, but there's nothing there now. It's just an empty field. Most of the places that had elephants, I only saw three elephants on my way out here. And they were uh, right outside of Mei Wang. There's a pig down there tied to a feed bin. Amazing. He's amazing up here. I could live like that. <laughs>